Bicuspid aortic wall is the most commonest congenital cardiac anomaly associated with Turner syndrome as well as most commonly involved organs are ovaries in Turner syndrome. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to learn image based MCQs as well as many facts about Turner syndrome. Do not skip anything, watch till end, let's start learning. Hi, I am Dr. Triya Virani Malde, pediatrician and consultant neonatologist. I'll be your guide for pediatric subject. If you are new to my channel, please do subscribe and give like to this video because lot is going to happen for pediatrics on this channel. Turner syndrome is also known as Ulrich Turner syndrome. First question arise, what is Turner syndrome? It is complete or partial monosomy of the X chromosomes, XO or maybe 45X. Many a time question is asked on the karyotype also. Here you can see there is one X is missing. So it is a monosomy of the X chromosomes. There is absence of bar body that is the diagnostic criteria for Turner syndrome. 60% of the cases there is 45X. In 15% it is mosaic variety in which few cell lines are having normal 46XX and other cell lines are having 45X. Rest of the cases, it could be a structural X chromosomal abnormalities like ring chromosomes, maybe deletion of the short arm of the X chromosomes or it can be isochromosomes. The next question arises: why this happens? Turner syndrome has nothing to do with the maternal age. It occurs randomly. It is due to non-disjunction and it could be because of chromosome loss. Failure of separation of sex chromosome during meiosis is the one of the very important reason for occurrence of the Turner syndrome. Now looking at the clinical manifestation of the Turner syndrome, a very easy mnemonic about Turner syndrome is C, there is a baby clown. S stands for short stretcher, sensory neural hearing loss as well as short me fourth metacarpal and short fourth metatarsal. A stands for amenorrhea and that is primary amenorrhea. B stands for bar body absent. Now clown where C is for cardiac anomalies. We'll come into the detail what cardiac anomalies are associated with Turner syndrome. L stands for lymphedema and low thyroid hormone. O stands for ovaries are underdeveloped. That's why there is a late occurrence of puberty. W stands for web neck and nipples are widely spaced. N stands for nipple widely spaced. The first S is a short stretcher. There is a failure of growth, major height deficit in first three years of the life so it is very important if we diagnose this thing early we can start intervention early and the results could be very good there is a slow childhood growth short stature the average height is less than 20 centimeters second important parameter is hypogonadism there is there are streak like ovaries and there is ovarian failure so there is no progesterone and estrogen but because of high feedback there is a high level of lh and fsh there is a delayed occurrence of puberty but the signs of adenarche like pubic hairs are normally present as well as there is a low thyroid hormone. The most commonest cardiac anomalies associated with Turner syndrome is bicuspid aortic wall. After that the second most commonest cardiac anomalies associated with Turner syndrome is coarctation of aorta. Partial anomalies pulmonary venous circulation and very less frequently aortic stenosis or mitral valve prolapse are also associated with Turner syndrome. Looking at the skeletal anomalies, the short fourth metacarpal and short fourth metatarsals are associated with Turner syndrome. In a radiograph also it is seen that this metacarpal is lower in the length. Similarly, it could be also seen in the leg that is short fourth metatarsal. Second important skeletal anomaly seen in Turner syndrome is Medlung anomaly which is also known as a Dinofoc deformity. If you see this picture, if the arms are spread like that, then this part is very prominent and it will give a figure of Dinofoc like this. It is a bowing of radial shaft because of subluxation of distal radio ulnar 
joint third important skeletal deformity is cubitus valgus that is increase carrying angle of the elbow it is increased the distance between elbow and the axis of the body is increased which is known as a cubitus valgus deformity renal malformation associated in turner syndromes most commonest is a horseshoe kidney after that there is second most common renal deformity is doubling double collecting system there could be a pelvic kidney there is there could be a complete absence of one kib- kidney and there could be ureter pelvic junction obstruction but how does the baby at the birth could present to you who is having turner syndrome there could be unexplained edema of dorsum of hand as well as feet there could be a presence of loose skin folds at the nape of the neck low birth weight as well as the decreased birth length so most common organ involved in turner syndromes are ovaries most common cardiac anomaly in a sequence first is a bicuspid valve and then coarctation of aorta most common renal anomalies horseshoe kidney or duplication of ureter most common skeletal anomaly is shortening of fourth metacarpal as well as fourth metatarsal and there could be a presence of recurrent bilateral otitis media but how we are going to manage this the administration of growth hormone is approved by fda in a patient with turner syndrome and the, it could increase height by 8 to 10 cm however they could not reach the adult height it will be a less than the 10 or 15 cm than the adult height hormonal replacement therapy with estrogen and progesterone can have a proper age of puberty and can reduce other many other symptoms if there is a presence of y chromosomes which is seen in a karyotyping gonadectomy could be advised to the patient apart from this three management regular screening of renal cardiac auditory as well as the hormone particularly tsh should be done now let's start with the multiple choice question that those are image based questions so please pay attention over here many a time this question has been asked in so question number 1 which syndrome is likely to be caused by chromosomal abnormality shown in the karyotype provided options are a down syndrome b klinefelter syndrome c turner syndrome or d soto syndrome so if you see there is clear cut this pair is not having one chromosome so it is so correct option is c turner syndrome this anomaly is found in options are klinefelter syndrome down syndrome edward syndrome or it is d turner syndrome first of all we should know what anomaly is shown in this figure it is cystic hygroma it is also associated with turner syndrome so correct answer is option d turner syndrome following anom- anomaly is seen in patau syndrome edward syndrome down syndrome or it is turner syndrome here clearly you can see it is fourth meta carpal shortening and it is associated with turner syndrome could also be associated with pseudo hypoparathyroidism as well as pseudo pseudo hypoparathyroidism following hand anomaly is seen in options are patau syndrome edward syndrome down syndrome or it is a turner syndrome this anomaly is known as a medlang anomaly or dinner fork deformity this is also associated with turner syndrome question number 5 following statement regarding turner syndrome are true except occurrence of turner syndrome is influenced by maternal age b most patients have primary amenorrhea c most patients have short stature or it is or option d edema of feet and hand is an important feature during infancy so correct answer is a turner syndrome is not having any association with maternal age rest three are correct and it's also a feature of turner syndrome 10 years female with short stature widely placed nipple and primary amenorrhea most likely karyotype is could be 47 double x plus 18 46 double xy 47 xxy or it is 45 xo we all know the correct answer is 45 xo not true about turner syndrome short stature not true so we have to find wrong statement out of the following a short stature b puberty usually late c strict ovaries or it is d higher iq so correct answer is higher iq rest all things are associated with turner syndrome next question is correct about turner syndrome is tall stature karyotype 445 xy test is present or it is high fsh ls so correct answer is high fsh ls because there is strict like ovaries there is absence of progesterone and estrogen 
so feedback mechanisms are working at the max and there will be higher level of fsh and lh hormones next question is turner syndrome is associated with which cardiac anomalies your options are a ast b vast c pda or it is d coarctation of aorta the correct answer is coarctation of aorta question number 10 turner syndrome is maximally associated with horseshoe kidney coarctation of aorta vast or ast this is very tricky question correct answer here is Co- coarctation of the aorta maximally the patient who is having turner syndrome will have coarctation of aorta among these four anomalies 10 years old female child presented with short stature webbing of neck cubitus valgus deformity her chromosome study shows normal karyotype it is showing normal karyotype most probable diagnosis is you are tempted you are tempted to write turner syndrome over here but here is the catch if all findings are suggestive of turner syndrome but the karyotype is normal not a mosaic variety no structural anomalies or not xo or 45x it means it is male turner it is called noonan syndrome male and female are equally affected it is normal karyotype certain features are similar as the turner syndrome and it is inherited in 20% cases it is inherited by autosomal dominant root so that's all about turner syndrome i hope you all understood and learned well there were many image based question please do revise it again and again so you will remember nicely and thoroughly during exams your feedback are welcome for improvement of my topics please let me know what else you would like to learn from me till that time take care of yourself study hard as well as study smart